Well, morning. The battery is dead. Feeling much better now than I was yesterday. I was not feeling great at all. So the nausea's gone. Uh, I need to eat something. I had a bread roll and a power bar all yesterday. Uh, I'll make a coffee first. Show you outside. It's still blowing. Oh, so I'm on a bit of a slope. Alright, so battery's there again. So. We still don't have to bail, I don't think. I, battery's dying again already. Useless. Anyway. Feeling better. Much better than yesterday. So I'm gonna just lie in the tent until about 12, have breakfast and coffee, and then. It's cold outside. It's blowing. It was a bit cold last night. The sleeping bag isn't quite warm enough. Summer bag. But uh, so it'll have to do. Uh, anyway. Okay. These batteries suck. Here's the view of the lake. wind is cold though, the wind is bad, so I have to close that up. Close that up, too cold. I'm gonna have to put on long underwear. It's that cold. Anyway. Definitely. Well, coffee's on the way. My god, the stove is working. There's a little tip boy. It's really blowing. It's gonna be a cold one, so I can walk around with a down jacket today. Battery is dead on this again, so all the batteries in the GoPro are just hopeless. The batteries in the mobile died too, it was too cold. But anyway feeling a lot better and I'll feel a lot better once I get a coffee and some food in me. Uh, for sure, I was not good last night. Uh, it's really, it was too much the hill I think and I was feeling sick before I even left so uh, that hill almost did it but I think I'm on the I'm on the mend, just take it very easy and don't get too chilled today. Don't get too cold. jacket. That wind is terrible, so no rush. I've got all day. I was thinking of bailing. I'll see how I feel, but I think I'm going to be okay. I was thinking of bailing today. Dragging 10 beers up. And the Battery died on me, so and it's dying. Oh wow, it just went from full to zero. So I'm gonna have to get a new camera. There's no no two ways about it. This is useless. Sorry, GoPro. You've had a, been a faithful faithful companion, but uh, it's not hacking it anymore. At least not in the cold. Well, a coffee and some scorpor with Santa Gul cheese and good salami de Napoli. Or salami de veneto that helped. I was very low on juice. I may go back to bed. There's no rush. It's a bit cold and windy and miserable out there. Although patches of sun. And these batteries keep dying on me, which is really a pain. Anyway. I got a bit chilled last night. I was low on low on energy. Well, it's nearly 11. I've had breakfast, but I've still got a very sore stomach, so I'm just lying in the tent waiting for my stomach to calm down. Just sore, and my back is sore from yesterday. It's 
mostly patches of sun, but kind of cloudy. Um, really blowing. It's supposed to improve by Thursday, according to Mama. At least I have mobile here. Anyway, our stomach is not so good. So, we may have to go out for a bit of a, a little walk, just to stretch my back. But I'm gonna lie here for a little bit longer. And the batteries are going on this already. I'll be here tonight at least anyway, and then if I don't get better, then maybe I'll head down. Uh, not good. I don't know what the hell it could have been, but I wasn't good yesterday on the way up. Well, last GoPro battery. See how long this lasts. All oh, the other ones died on me. Oh, it's dying already. Good grief. So, new camera when I get back to Bergen. I don't know if it's going to be another GoPro or something else, but uh, I do kind of want a big camera. Can't really afford it, and I'm carrying too much as it is. So, well, this is still on two bars. So, anyway, oh, this is pretty, pretty crowded here. But it's toasty. looks nice. Today is Tuesday, so Tuesday and tomorrow is sun. Should have brought a book. You can download a book on the mobile. Stomach is still not good. I don't know if that's the stomach or the back. Anyway, I think you fill up the water and make another coffee. And then do the fishing gear. stay in your sleeping bag to make food to just lie there everything and then have everything within arm's reach stove cigarette butt so I can reach all my food and the stove without leaving my sleeping bag that's important Blowing. I got the fishing gear sorted, so they're all set up. I'm gonna have to drop the GoPros because uh, they keep running out of battery, and then I have to really rush the mobile, mobile phone because I need that to get back to back to this door. So, ah, oh, these batteries suck. They're useless. 
set up. So, new camera though, uh, for sure. And there's the family. Another dude fishing, so I'll fish this little inland thing here, I guess. Oh, it's nice and warm now. It's more like it. with the fly I'll try anyway I'm relying on the mobile now for video GoPro just died on me that's not good no, there's quite a few people trekking over here wow there's a few more on that snow patch way on the other side so I don't know if you can see that it's too far away but quite a few Alright, head down to this little peninsula. Not a single bite. I'm not really surprised. I think it's been fishing wise today. It's nice though, it's pretty. And not as nearly as much wind here as up at the top. The batteries on the mobile keep dying. That's a real worry because I have no GoPro. So I'm relying on new mobile. I brought five batteries but they die, they go from 90 to 50 to zero in the space of no time. Anyway. Oh, it's no bites. There's Hollings cut of it. Very pretty, but a lot of people fish here though. Uh, I don't know how good this lake is. It's <laughs> oh, pretty huge. Caught him on the dry fly. How's that for on the homemade caddis fly? There he goes. He's too small to keep. He's a little piddler, so. Oh, oh. I knew I'd catch at least a fish here today. So hello. He's not very big. Not worth keeping. So, oh, oh, there he went. That was fast. I'm not fishless and on the fly, on my own fly. How cool is that on the single handed rod? Because here there's no wind. I knew if I threw, I tucked a little fly out there and where there's no wind, I might actually catch something. Cool. That's a beautiful little fish, too. Maybe 200 grams, if that. He thought, though. Well, I'm pretty sure this is where Mum and I camped last time. Mum was so very sick the first night. I was behind this rock, with that rock there. Uh, not the flattest spot. Mine is better, but I'm only 10 yards from where we camped last time. So, uh, well, maybe we camped at the same spot. I'm not sure. That's the obvious spot. I don't remember. Probably. Anyway, oh, it's bad. I'm having technical problems. The camera keeps dying, the mobile keeps dying, the GoPro's dead. I just have to make sure I have one full battery for the train home. Or a phone call to work, a phone call to make sure I'm fine. Well, it's a shame about the GoPro batteries, but uh, I caught my first fish. It's very windy, so I'm not sure.
well inside the little tent. It's still blowing, it's still cold. And this battery is my last good one. It's almost dead. I might sacrifice the battery bank to charge the GoPro batteries because we need to save all the mobile batteries for the train, for emergencies, for a taxi home if, if it gets to that. I have three more days, so uh, I think they're just cold. I'm not sure what the problem is. I charge them, but they're old batteries. They're five years old, so. But anyway, I'm gonna give you a tour of the camp. Well, lots of people out here now. We got a couple at the same spot. Chilling and the jogger came from Gustosa. So the question is tonight, what kind of dinner do we have? I mean, we have quite a few dinners here. We have uh, salmon and broccoli pasta, which I'm very skeptical of. We have pasta bolognese. That's pretty safe. We have, and these are all new, summer to eat. UK, UK dinners, I'm not sure. Chicken fajita with rice. I think that may be the dinner tonight. And then we have, well, we have macaroni tomato, which I don't really want. We have, Chili con carne. Yeah, well, I'm not sure I'm up for that. My stomach is a bit delicate still. We have shilling tikka masala. Shilling tikka masala. So I'm not sure. I think chicken fajitas with rice. Check out the summer to eat. I've got one extra dinner because I didn't have dinner last night. I brought five. So, so you can look straight up my nostrils now. I think it's going to be chicken fajita with rice. This sister or get over the level to stay a box or our favorite if I can find it I'm charging GoPro batteries and they're already dying on me oh, that sucks let's put you down yes Finn Arna Classic Macrelli Tomat in little mini boxes. Well, I have salami and prosciutto, so I don't have to go quite. I'm not that desperate yet, but I might use up my salami and prosciutto and good cheese before I leave here. So then it's uh, Finn Hockett, Filet, Tomat Sass, uh, Macrelli Tomat. So I think I'm just about to ready to creep into this washing this cup and a couple over there. I'm just about ready to creep into my ready hole and uh, make it. I don't even have to go out to pee, I just lay down the side and pee in the, on the side of the tent. It's pretty bad, but it's 
in styling. Alrighty. Well, it's blowing quite a bit as you can hear. And I just charged this battery fully and it's already dying. So, the GoPro I can understand. That's... This GoPro is seven years old, so the batteries are seven years old, so they don't last that long. They never did last that long. And I'll give you a squeeze outside. Here it is. It's pretty windy. But new crisis since the mobile is dying. The batteries just die after like no time whatsoever and the mobile starts shutting off. As soon as I turn it on, it shuts on and off. Ah, oh, this battery's already dead. Jesus Christ, I just charged it. So, uh... That the mobile, I have no weather forecast. I have no train tickets. Train tickets is pretty important. To be able to call to yellow taxi, to get home in an emergency is... Uh, pretty important. Uh, so... Gotta have that mobile working, and now it's dying on me, so... I think it's time for a new mobile that's seven years old, but... Uh, that's not good. Can't have... Oh, now the battery just went to zero. Great. This is useless. I only brought two battery banks, too. So I can't go forever. Uh... Uh, well, the GoPro is understandable, that's uh, due for a replacement, but I was hoping to get another year out of the mobile. Uh, there it is, down that way. So, as you can see, uh, it's pretty tight. We've got a lot of crap here. It's cozy. And this is the tent Finn uses most of the time, so, I mean, it's not that bad. Uh, so... But the mobile is a problem. That's a huge possible crisis. I have to have a working mobile when I leave here. So, anyway. anyway. That's what it looks like in the front of the tent. Yeah. But, uh... Well, GoPro Hero 4, it's not GoPro Hero 8. You know, six years later it's understandable but I mean I was hoping I'd get a little bit longer out of the mobile so anyway tonight it's uh, chicken fajitas with rice on the new uh, the meal plan we'll see how that works and then I've got I'm saving one battery bank for the batteries which I've got in my pocket now keep them warm uh, hopefully they last a little bit longer, although this battery is about kaput, I think, and I think I'll put the kaput batteries in the side pocket of my little camera bag. Uh, it's still nice outside, except it's blowing so hard and it's very cold, and it's a strong wind. So tomorrow is most likely going to be uh, down to the same pond or the same lake. Uh, I'll take a few beers with me this time so I'm out of the wind. Uh, and I should really do a grey card here for the colour but I'll have to eyeball that when I get back to Ustosa. Uh, but I'm feeling much, much better than I was last night. Uh, last night I was very bad. I was feeling nauseous. Uh, I was uh, had stomach problems. Uh, I was my jaws were hurting, and the sleeping bag was not really warm enough. Although that's probably because I didn't have enough to eat. I only had uh, one energy bar, and uh, before that, one bread roll before I left, uh, and then that huge hike up with the hu heavy pack. I mean, all up, I was still carrying about 30 kilos, so... Uh, you, know, you can see the lines under my eyes. You know, I didn't sleep that well. 
I slept on and off uh, probably quite a while, but uh, it was not not so great. So and trying to stay warm uh, should be. I'm feeling much better. I should be warm enough tonight. This battery seems to be lasting a little longer. Uh, my last beer for tonight is in my boot. And then chicken fajitas. And it's uh, definitely not fishing weather. I lost my last fly in the wind. Uh, just in the reeds over there. And these dead cats keep coming off the... Uh, little microphone here but it's much better sound than it would otherwise be so I think I'm gonna put this uh, battery away turn you off and then uh, I'm gonna finish my beer and then I've got six left so I'm okay it's two a night uh, two beers a night plus uh, I still have uh, I did put a hole in the uh, in the Cladbury liqueur tonight uh, but in the Sun but I still have two or oh, three quarters of it left, so I'm, I'm fine. Uh, and then I'll have a red wine and a huge steak when I get home. That'll be cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so that should be good. Uh, but, and I'm not feeling sick anymore, which is quite important. So uh, I was sick as a dog last night. I was, last night was not good. And I was cold. Uh, but I mean, they're nearly white caps you know, over there. So I'm not sure how these dead cats are holding up to that wind, but uh, I'm going to turn you off and start charging the other batteries. Because I do have to rely on the GoPro now for footage because I really need the. I have to make sure whatever happens, my mobile has to work. Uh, both to get home to because my train tickets are on the GoPro or on the mobile and uh, an emergency taxi back to Ustose if I'm really sick or if it's too late which is 800 a thousand kroner but I mean I may just have to do that uh, and then the weather forecast and then all the emails and then the internet and everything and the internet at Ustose so I mean after that the mobile has started working again so I think yeah definitely new mobile soon I put it off for six or seven years but uh, I can't put it off anymore anyway that's it oh that's it I'm in well this is one from my pocket so I've got all the uh, GoPro batteries in my pocket and it just about died straight away so I'm gonna set it to charge and then hopefully it'll be okay tomorrow but I mean these old GoPro batteries from seven years ago I mean they're just not lasting so that's a real problem anyway down there it's quite a good sleeping bag it does keep me warm but I mean I was cold last night from the get-go so uh, anyway well, there we go. Went to zero already. One of my new batteries. But dead cats keep falling off, so. But, to give you an idea of how it looks in my little tent. There it looks. And then there's the stove. A pair and a boot. And chicken fajita with rice. So, <coughs> and the view outside, it's blowing still. So, I mean, uh, in about a few minutes, I should, well, 15 minutes, I should have chicken fajita with rice. And that'll be pretty good. 
because my first hot meal in uh, like two nights. I only had a power bar last night. I was about sick. Uh, I think this battery needs to be charged again. If it even works. I got four in my pocket. Or three in my pocket. And they're all pretty useless. So the GoPro thing is not really working at the moment. But then my mobile is also dying. So that's not good. But anyway. Uh, I could have managed if the mobile was alright. But with the mobile dying. Uh, with the mobile dying as well. Uh, it's, it's pretty hopeless. And I only brought two, two small battery banks. But I'll turn you off and get you charging again. And then hopefully uh, this time you'll be good for tomorrow. This battery. Or the next battery. Still charging the GoPro batteries. But uh, there it goes. From 3 to 1 already and soon to 0. Chicken fajitas ready to eat was pretty good. Summer to eat. Not bad. So, oh, now it went to zero. Damn it. So I'll charge this again all night. I uh, can only have one battery bank charging the GoPros. And then the rest has to be for the mobile, just in case. But I mean, that was pretty tasty. Better than uh, Real Turmat, actually. Not bad. 140 kroner, but I mean, uh, uh, okay, not too bad. Alrighty, and it doesn't look too bad up there. I mean, it could be a squares. I just have to creep into my uh, tozy, my cozy sleeping bag, and I should be right. I'm going to bed very early give you some idea it's like 7 30 so early to bed early to rise right Papa and if you wonder Papa if how I stay warm I just stay in my sleeping bag all the time and then I have a down jacket and a little one and then a lure I have a lure I put the top on and then as long as I'm in my uh, sleeping bag and then I have a down jacket on, it can be as cold as it wants. It's fine. And then I'm toasty. All right, I have to put you on to charge again, but I mean, uh, so chargers galore down there. But anyway. Well, it's still the second night. Uh, oh no, I thought those batteries were better, but went from three to two and it's gonna go from two to one very soon. But these may be the batteries for tomorrow, plus the last battery that I have in my pocket. I have to say, having a decent mattress, this guy, which I just bought this year, oh, it did go to one. And decent sleeping bag makes a big difference it's nice and toasty so uh, wow all the batteries suck that's terrible I just fully charged this battery it went from 3 to 1 uh, and it went to 0 now oh no this is not good alright well I have to try this battery tomorrow and the next one. Can't throw out all the batteries. That's really bad though. Alright. Oh, now it's about to die. 15 seconds. How long does it before it turns off? It sucks. Mobile is not working either, so it means no video for this trip. Well, that's really a shame. I guess it means a new camera though, when I get back to Bergen. So no other way. This is just not working. Alright, I'll turn you off.
I guess, and then put you in the bin with all the other bad batteries, all of them bad on this trip. Mm, that's terrible. And you were nice and warm too. No excuse. What are you gonna do? Oh, well. So this is the last battery which I fully charged when I left Ustosa and it went from 3 to 2 immediately uh, and it's probably going to go from 2 to 1 and then 0 very soon at uh, now 20 seconds now it seems to be holding alright I'm not sure what to do about this I think I'll leave you in, I'll charge you again this is really bad means I have no GoPro and my mobile is dying so I can't rely on that for footage either only intermittently yeah it just went to one so I give it a few seconds it'll go to zero well there are seven year old batteries so I mean what do you expect this is really bad look it's light outside in the sun a bit crowded in my tent. I might go out, have a little look, see it, see what's happening outside. I should probably fill my my camel back anyway with water. So I mean, I have a water bottle, but uh, it's nice to have that full. Uh, my pee was very dark yellow this morning. Which means I was dehydrated and then uh, this evening it was uh, white which is good which just means I've been hydrating enough drinking enough water but you got to keep an eye on things like that especially in Australia with the heat uh, but I mean even here in winter especially I mean you got to watch that yellow pea is not good you want white pea all right